In tonight's story, we'll meet three lovely characters. A little girl called Alice, and her friends, the bear and the owl. It's a simple, beautiful story, where not a lot happens, but there's some lovely life lessons and some very cozy, calming environments. But before that, as always, if this video helps you, please do hit the like button. It really helps us to continue making these videos for you. Also, please comment this particular story was suggested by a couple of our younger listeners. In fact, it was a little girl called Alice and her brother, Alexander. So kids, this is for you. Now, before the story, let's do the relaxation session, which will take a few minutes. I'm going to count down from ten to one. And as I do, allow yourself to let go more and more. Ten. Feeling the support beneath you now. Whether it be your bed or the floor or the earth, our home, supporting you. Feel that solidity, that constantness. Nine. Allowing yourself to realize that the day is done now. Whatever has been, has been. Whatever will be, will be. Eight. Allowing my voice to be a voice of safety for you now. You are safe. Maybe Feel a little gratitude now for what is offered to you in this moment. The opportunity of sleep. The opportunity of listening to a cozy, Bedtime story. Six. Remember, we all deserve rest. You deserve rest. Enjoy this moment. for its utter simplicity. Five. If you're holding anywhere, let go now. Whether it be in your legs, your belly, 
your face. Your body has worked hard for you today. Let it rest. Four. There is peace that lives within you. It's always there. Allow yourself to see it now. To access it. Allow yourself to feel comforted by that fact. Three. I'd like you to start to see a very inviting looking woodland in your mind's eye now. A very cozy forest. Start to paint that picture for yourself. Two. Any residual tension melts away now. You are safe. You can let go. One. Allow your imagination to be fully open now and ready to hear the story of the bear, the owl, and Alice. Once upon a time, in a cozy forest, where streams whispered secrets to the wind, and streams hummed lullabies, lived a little girl named Alice. Alice lived with her loving granny in a small little wooden house that almost seemed to hug you the moment you walked in. Now every morning, after a breakfast of warm porridge and honey, Alice would set off into the forest to meet her best friends. An intelligent owl named Winston and a big-hearted bear called Alexandra. Now Winston was known for his wisdom and often enjoyed reciting all sorts of stories about the forest, while Alexandra was the most playful bear you'd ever meet. His laughter would boom through the forest like a jovial thunderclap. And together, they were an unlikely but inseparable trio. And every day was a new adventure waiting to happen. On this particular day, it was, I believe, 
a Tuesday. The air was filled with the intoxicating aroma of blooming wildflowers, and the forest seemed even more beautiful than usual. As Alice walked down the familiar forest path, she felt a little tingling of excitement. Today was special, not just because it was a Tuesday, but because she would see her friends and Winston had sent her a message through a nightingale that they were planning something. A forest day of joy, he called it. Good morning, Winston. Good morning, Alexandra. Alice greeted them both as she arrived at their usual meeting spot, a clearing bathed in dappled sunlight. The tree leaves rustled as if sharing in her enthusiasm. Alexandra lumbered over his big paws thudding softly on the forest floor, while Winston swooped down from his perch, landing gracefully on a tree stump. Good morning, Alice, they chorused. Winston's feathers were slightly ruffled in excitement, and Alexandra's eyes shined like twinkling stars. And so, the preparations began. Alexandra had gathered berries, and Winston was looking forward to telling all sorts of stories. But what was most extraordinary was the thing that took Alice's breath away. The owl and the bear had erected a simple yet enchanting canopy made of vines and flowers, which hung from the trees and created a magical space in the middle of the clearing. This was a lovely place from which to begin their day of joy. Yes, the three friends were simply inseparable. Once they were together, there was nothing wrong with the world. And even if things didn't go their way, as a trio, they could handle anything. Today was going to be the most special day that they had ever had. And so they began to walk and fly through the forest. The trees and flowers greeting them as they walked. 
for in this forest everyone knew everyone. Good morning, Alice, said Daisy the Daisy. Good morning, Daisy, said Alice. Good morning, Alice, said Iris the Iris. Good morning, Iris, said Alice. Good morning, Alice, said Violet the Violet. Good morning, Violet, said Alice. Alexandra led the way as they happily continued their walk, each step just making them feel even more and more relaxed, even more and more overjoyed at the adventure that lay ahead. This forest was more than just a collection of trees and plants. It was a community. A home filled with friends both big and small. As they walked further, even the babbling brook that meandered through the woods seemed to greet them. Good morning, Alice. Alexandra Winston, it seemed to murmur as they passed by. Alexandra's heavy paws splashed a bit of water onto some pebbles, making them chime like tiny bells. Winston, usually reserved, couldn't help but hoot a jovial melody. Alice, Alexandra and Winston finally reached the heart of the forest, where the trees seemed to create a perfect clearing, a sanctuary, where the sunlight poured in like golden honey. The bear began to lay out the berries he had gathered earlier. Plump and juicy, they glistened in the sunlight. A simple yet heartwarming feast. Winston who was usually more interested in knowledge than food, found himself eagerly pecking at a few berries. It's amazing how something so simple can bring so much joy, Alice said. Her eyes twinkling. 
as she took in the beautiful scene before her. Alexandra agreed. It's the simple things that are often the most special, because they come straight from the heart. Winston added his wisdom. Remember, the forest teaches us that life is a cycle, and every moment is a gift. We should treasure these gifts, and not take them for granted. The forest seemed to echo Winston's wise words. The wind rustling the leaves like applause. Feeling satisfied and enlightened, the three friends decided to play a game of hide and seek. Now, Alexandra was unsurprisingly not very good at hiding, being a bear but made up for it by being an enthusiastic seeker. Alice and Winston found incredible hiding spots up in trees and under bushes. They all laughed until their bellies ached. Each round of hide and seek, ending in a joyful group hug. They continued to play games throughout the day, enjoying not just each other's company, but the company of the trees, the sky, and the other little animals that called the forest home. But the best part of the day was still to come, for these three were rather fond of the daytime, but they loved when the moon came out and the stars shone from above, offering a cozy blanket in the sky. The three friends were feeling a little sleepy now, but so happy in each other's company feeling safe and sheltered. Winston perched himself on a low hanging branch, his eyes twinkling with wisdom under the soft glow of the moonlight. So, would you both like to hear a story from my younger days? He asked. Alice and Alexandra nodded eagerly, their eyes wide with curiosity. Very well, Winston began ruffling his feathers 
as if preparing for a grand tale. When I was just a fledgling, not yet wise, and still exploring the mysteries of the night, I became curious about the moon. Why does it change shape? I pondered. Why does it hide some nights and shine so bright on others? So, young and naive, I decided to fly as high as I could to ask the moon these questions myself. Winston paused, his gaze becoming distant as he remembered that adventurous night. I flew higher and higher my wings growing heavy and the air thinning until I realized I could go no further. Just then, a cloud appeared beneath my tired wings and kindly offered me respite, and as I sat there on that friendly, comfortable, cozy cloud, I understood the moon wasn't hiding or changing, it was simply a part of a bigger cycle, one that I was still a bit too young to understand. Concluding his story, Winston looked at his friends and said, The lesson here is that Wisdom often comes from understanding our limitations and respecting the natural cycles that are greater than us. Sometimes the questions we ask are not as important as the journey we take to find the answers. Alice and Alexandra listened intently, captivated by Winston's tale. As he finished, they felt a newfound sense of respect for their wise friend and the beautiful world that they lived in. Alice looked at her friend the owl and said, that's an incredible story, Winston. Thank you for sharing it. And after a moment of silence, filled only by the distant hooting of another owl, and the gentle rustling of leaves in the nighttime breeze. 
Alice cleared her throat. <clears throat> Would you like to hear a story of mine? It's a tale my granny told me when I was very young. Eager for another story, the bear and the owl nodded. Alexandra even settled down on his haunches, as if preparing for a long listen. Alice began. This is a story about kindness and how a small deed can change someone's world. A long time ago, a little mouse lived in our forest. Everyone looked down on her because she was small and seemingly insignificant. One day, the forest was hit by a terrible storm and a massive tree fell, blocking the river. The whole forest was in peril if the river overflowed, it would flood our homes. Her eyes widened for emphasis as she continued. Everyone tried to move the tree. Bears, wolves, even the elk but it was too heavy. Just as hope was fading, the little mouse came forward. She nibbled and nibbled, using her tiny little teeth to cut through the smaller branches. Inspired by her courage, the other animals joined in. Working together, they finally managed to move the tree and saved the forest. Alice paused, letting her words sink in before concluding. The lesson is, never underestimate the power of a small act of kindness, or the creatures who offer it. We all have something to contribute, no matter how insignificant we think we are. As she finished her story, the clearing seemed to be filled with an even warmer glow, as if the moon itself was pleased with her tail. Both Alexandra and Winston sat quietly, pondering the lessons they had learned. Now, they started to walk back towards Alice's house, and on the way, because they all felt 
very sleepy. Alexandra the bear decided to tell his friends a very sleepy tale. The bear cleared his throat and a deep and a gentle sound seemed to resonate with the very trees around them. I have a tale that my mama bear used to tell me, Alexandra began, his voice softening as he spoke. It's a tale that brings peace and sleepiness to restless cubs. Long ago, in a distant forest, much like ours, lived a cloud. This was no ordinary cloud, it was a sleepy cloud. During the day, Sleepy Cloud watched the forest animals play, learn, and explore. But at night, it had a very special job. The bear paused for effect. his eyes twinkling in the soft moonlight. Once the sky grew dark and the stars came out, Sleepy Cloud would float gently over the homes of all the animals sprinkling down a delicate mist. The mist had a magical quality. It carried the essence of lavender, of chamomile, and, most importantly, the essence of dreams, the sweetest kind of dreams. Every animal touched by the mist would feel their eyes grow heavy, their hearts fill with peace and their minds drift into the most wonderful dreams. As the bear told the story, his voice took on a rhythmic quality, like a lullaby dancing on the breeze. The sleepy cloud never asked for thanks or recognition. It found happiness simply by bringing restful sleep 
to the tired souls below. And in the morning, the cloud would drift back into the sky, merging with the daylight clouds, content in the knowledge that it had given the forest Another night of restful sleep. The gentle and kind bear concluded his tale by saying, Like sleepy clouds, we all have a unique gift to offer, even if it's just making someone's life a little bit more peaceful, or a little bit more restful. Sometimes, the best gifts are the ones you can't see, but can deeply feel. By the time Alexandra the bear had finished his story, the three friends had almost reached Alice's home, their hearts full and their eyes heavy. The wisdom and comfort of each other's stories hung around them like a warm blanket. guiding them toward a restful night. After ensuring that little Alice was safely back in her cozy wooden home, The bear and the owl said good night to each other and went their separate ways. The bear ambled toward his own abode, a spacious den nestled against the roots of an ancient oak tree. A cozy combination of leaves, moss and fur made a soft bed within the den, giving it a welcoming aura. The entrance was covered with large branches, making it a warm, private sanctuary where Alexandra felt most at peace. Winston, on the other hand, took flight toward a tall pine tree 
where he had built his nest. His home was an intricate weave of twigs and soft feathers, situated on a sturdy branch that gave him a panoramic view of the forest. The nest was designed to cradle him perfectly, and from this lofty perch, he could observe the moon and the stars as he settled in for the night. Alice, too, lay in her bed under a quilt and stitched by her granny. Her room was illuminated by the soft golden glow of a bedside lamp. Casting dancing shadows on the walls and filling the room with warmth. As her eyes grew heavy, she thought of Alexandra's sleepy cloud. and Winston's wise moon, and she felt grateful for the lessons learned and the love shared among her and her friends. One by one, they each fell into a deep, restful slumber, their dreams filled with friendship, wisdom, and joyous new adventures waiting for them in the forest they called home.
Thank you.